just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. You fucking homo, you're dead. Dad! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! Tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J Dog, my niggas. <laughs> oh, well, you suck Batman's dick. I'll cut your dick off if you call the administrator. Hey, you know what? I am the administrator. Dead, you fucking idiot. Holy fucking shit, bro! Dad! Dad, there's a dude! Dad, help! Dad! He tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J Dog, my niggas. Ooh, slaughter time! I don't care if you're. I'll still rape you. And interesting is just the <laughs> Who the fuck are you? He tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J Dog, my niggas. Get off my face, you lucky homo! I still love him, though. Sort of. Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he's drawn off over pictures of my friends. Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, now look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he looked legit to you? Look, man. It's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man. It's Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. That the place? 
Yeah, this is the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Hey, I still got this gun to your head. Oh, shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! I won't be treated like this! <laughs> You've gone mad! <coughs> Bottom feeder! <coughs> You're <a> f <coughs> You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! <coughs> I'm tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> he agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here. Keep going, I'm still fresh. Oh, fuck. Hey, you my dude, right? Hey, what's up?
gone terribly wrong. The smuggling of weapons from the U.S. into Mexico has transformed the Sonora Desert region into a war zone in recent months, with rival traffickers including Mexican gang Varios Los Aztecas and El Salvadorian gang the Marabunta Grande clashing over supply routes. The launch of Life Invaders' top-secret but heavily marketed new hardware is just days away now, and the hype is at a fever pitch as social networking fanatics prove once again that there are no limits to what people are prepared to sacrifice in exchange for the illusion of relevance and popularity. Life Invader CEO Jay Norris will unveil the product himself on live television. Since 1975, the brutal murder and dismemberment of starlet Leonardo Jensen has remained unsolved and captivated conspiracy theorists. Now, there may be a break. Ira Richards, Vice President of Marketing at Richards Majestic and grandson of movie mogul Deep. Es malandro y es fresco, él es mi 
I'm sorry about that. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. For real. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. Dispatch. I gotta pick up not too far from you. Sending you the address now. 
Oh yeah, I'll take that one. Okay, all yours. You're not far away. How's it looking out there, dispatch? This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. I'm on it. More masculine. Fact: In this country, cash is king. So borrow some. Wait, forget that. Something just came up. Are you insane? Get that out of there now. Spend it on a fancy tablet. Or Any jobs I can pick up? Yeah. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. Yeah, I got that. Buy some second-rate expensive headphones advertised by a rapper. Let them good, good. It looks like you're close. We know times are tough, but they don't have to be tough for you. Come on, don't be crazy. Start spending. Brought to you by the Los Santos Chamber of Commerce. Weasel News. Car carnage in Pillbox Hill. An upsurge in armed ATM robberies as locals concerned. Devin Weston buys steak in Richard's Majestic. Is I find street maps sharing pics of you on the toilet. A car dealership in Pillbox Hill. Taxi! Ah, uh, boom. Digital. Yeah. One, one. Chronics again. Turn off a top more bus. Bus what? Left some of them out here to the bus. Oh, please. No, get the bus and go fall off. I can't see them about. Sorry, fool. <laughs> 